एक लिम्फोसिटिक एंड इफ इट इज डिफ्यूज स्प्रेडिंग लिखेमिया और इफ इट इज मेकिंग अहिस्टिव मैस देन स्मॉल सेल और लार्ज सेल स्मॉल सेल स्मॉल वॉट इज दिस क्रोनिक स्मॉल सेल स्मॉल सेल वॉट इज दिस लिम्फोमा दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पेरिफरल बी सेल न्यूप्लेजिया बट देन देर आर सम मोर डेंजरस एग्जाम्पल लाइक हेयर हेरी सेल लिकीमिया एंड बर्केट लिम्फोमा देर मेरी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस हेरी सेल लिकीमिया हेरी सेल Leukemia. I will discuss these in detail later. Or there can be Burkitt, Burkitt lymphoma. Now, why these three categories are put under peripheral B cell neoplasia? Because even though these cells are neoplastic, but they are small and they look like relatively more developed, and they look like uh, B cells which are found in the periphery. So we call them one group of tumors: peripheral B cell neoplasia. peripheral b cell neoplasia is a very big group in this family peripheral b cell neoplasia is a big family of neoplasias out of that i just mentioned three what are these chronic lymphocytic leukemia oblique small cell lymphoma but they are somewhat similar in their behavior clear or there can be hairy cell leukemia burkitt lymphoma okay look this is leukemia this is lymphoma and both are lymphoid you understand it okay and there are many other categories in this then precursor t cell i have given you just one example precursor t cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia now peripheral t cell uh, tumors there is a very large category in this also we'll discuss later because today's lecture is going to be in detail of pre b a l l and pre t a l l then last but not the least last category here is this is a lymphoid tumors last category here is lymphomas what is this hodgkins lymphoma what are these this is a different category hodgkins lymphoma about hodgkins lymphoma we have already recorded the lecture that is present in video library right now i will make it last revision of this who has said that neoplasias or neoplastic proliferation of white blood cell should be divided basically into three basic category what are these three basic category lymphoid neoplasia myeloid neoplasia histiocytic neoplasia right now we going to detail of lymphoid neoplasia myeloid and histiocytic will be discussed later now my uh, lymphoid neoplasia lymphoid neoplasia very easy to understand there should be precursor and there should be peripheral mature cell that's right precursor and immature cell or peripheral or mature cell precursor immature or blastic cell or peripheral mature or cystic cells clear no problem here now if what is the precursor cells they will be either b or t so we can say lymphoid malignancies can be precursor b or precursor t always keep nk with t so what what happen lymphoid tumors can be precursor b or precursor t because they produce acute highly aggressive lymphoblastic situation so we call it b acute lymphoblastic leukemia or t or pre t acute lymphoblastic leukemia clear then mature peripheral b lymphocyte neoplasia there are many categories then peripheral t cell natural killer cell neoplasia there are many categories in sub categories in this then hodgkins lymphoma hodgkins lymphomas we don't put these lymphomas in pre b or pre t or peripheral b or peripheral t this is entirely different type of lymphoma unusual and thank god very good ones because the prognosis is very good in hodgkins the specific special feature of hodgkins lymphoma is that these lymphoma masses under the microscope you can see special type of cells which are called reed sternberg cells or rs cells so if in a lymphoma whenever i say lymphoma you understand what cohesive mass what is that cohesive mass so when i say lymphoma and i say it is hodgkins lymphoma dr hodgkin discovered that there are there is a group of lymphoma in which under the microscope we see special giant cells we call them reed sternberg cells they are typical or atypical reed sternberg cells reed sternberg cells are usually not found in any other category is that right or even if found in some category uh, uh, not in a very abundant way 
So when you have a lymphoma with a lot of RS cells or Reed, Stern, Reed Sternberg cells, these, these look like owl. You know owl? You remember someone? Yes, owl eye. Owl eye. Because RS cells or Reed Sternberg cells typically have bilobed or uh, multilobed nucleus with very prominent nucleoli and large cells. So if lymphoma has RS cells, this is Hodgkin's. Why I am putting Hodgkin separately? You know why? There should be a reason why Dr. Najib is so obsessive. Hodgkin should be separate from all other category. Or even WHO is obsessive. The reason being, it has one of the best prognosis. That's right. If your patient has this, there is a very good hope for life. If these are not treated, uniformly they are deadly. But now from many many decades we have the treatment for this it was one of the earliest oncological uh, you can say success cancer success by human beings that we were able to kill the hodgkin's lymphoma by drugs right so because all other behave in a different way but most of the hodgkin's behave in similar way right that all discussion of hodgkin's we have done in some previous video lectures right now after discussing all this after the break i will go into detail of pre b ALL and pre T ALL, or simply I will say I will go into detail of acute lymphoblastic leukemia in which there are B category and T category. Let's have a break now.